Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry it's been so long since I posted like a normal video of like something different um, and exciting or just anything fun. So <laughs> um, it's been a little bit crazy with Christmas and then um, I had a sick fish. So I have carnival goldfish that we got four years ago at the carnival and they were about this big. Um, they're now about this big and they live in a hundred gallon tank in my house and um, they will be going into a pond next year. Um, but anyway, in the meantime, one of them has um, like busted his lip or something and it's really infected and it's been driving me crazy and I can't seem to get it fixed. So I um, <clears throat> tried medications and I don't know, I'm at wit's end, but I spent all last week trying to take care of this fish. And so that means every night after work, I have to do these dips in the hospital tank and all of these various things to be able to try to help this fish get better. Um, it's working, thank goodness. Um, and then in addition to that, my guppies had babies. So it's just been a hectic week. Um, so I'm hoping to get back to some sort of routine soon and do videos regularly. Um, I did... I will be off next week for a couple of days, so that's super awesome. So I will be doing some good videos. I think I'm gonna do um, a sewing tutorial for some ferret stuff and um, probably just some other stuff. And I'm hoping to get a Christmas video up soon of my little babies and um, share that with you. So without further ado, I am gonna post a video about um, Weasel's leg. So when he was a baby, he broke his leg. And I've noticed recently that um, it seems to be bothering him periodically where he limps on it more and I don't know if that's like a long-term effect I'm gonna make him a vet appointment but I just kind of wanted to share the story of what happened and kind of how he is now and um, it was it's been about a year and a half now and so um, it's pretty interesting it was pretty gruesome so just warning I'm gonna put a picture up but I'm just gonna do it once and it's a pretty graphic picture of his after his surgery um, so I will show that to you and kind of explain everything that kind of happened in that process. So um, I'm going to start the video. Okay, so this is my weasel boo. Say hi, weasel boo. This is my baby, my very, my very baby, baby, baby. I love him. So when weasel was a baby, he was about three months old. Um, I would take, I lived in a different house, and I would take him with me when I would take a shower and I would let him run around the bathroom basically. And it was tile floor, but there was a rug and, and it really wasn't anything, let me rephrase that. There wasn't anything I thought that he could hurt himself on, on at all. Um, I've always been super cautious. Like the minute that I got them, I ferret proof the room that they were in before we moved to this house where they had their own, where they had their own room. And um, so I take him in the bathroom with me and I do this all the time, like the first month or so that I had him and everything was fine. And then one day he decided he was gonna climb up on a litter, like a, a container for cat litter. And then from there onto the trash can. Now this whole climbing experience, he was no more than 24 inches, maybe two feet off the ground. And he fell off the trash can. And, um, and I noticed that he was limping. And it kind of freaked me out and I, I did a lot of research online and, and I just watched it. And this was about 10 o'clock at night. So when I got up for work the next morning, um, he was not putting any weight on it. And I was really worried. So I immediately took him to the vet. Um, so I didn't go to work or anything. And I got there and he had broken his, um, come here, boo. Come here, please. He had broken his leg and not like this part of his leg he broke up here he broke this part of his leg and he was really little I mean he was not this big he probably only weighed a little bit over a pound or so I mean he was a baby he was three months old um, and he didn't do like a regular like break he broke this weird little bone at the top um, and so <laughs> They do the x-ray and they come back in the room and they're like, we can do a surgery, he's gonna have an external pin. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, well, okay, but you know, let's do it. This is a thousand dollar surgery. Um, so just word of the wise, if you get a ferret, um, be prepared that they can be expensive and they can be expensive unexpectedly. Um, so I had just graduated college. I had just started my job. I was not, I did not have a thousand extra dollars just chilling around at my house. Um, 
thank goodness I was able to, I mean, I obviously paid for to have the surgery, <laughs> but um, anyway, he had to, they did the external pin, they kept him overnight, and then I picked him up the next day, and they told me <laughs> to keep him still. Now, at this point, I just had him and Lucy, so I had the two siblings, and um, they were in a, the Farad Nation cage, and they were used to just playing and running and doing all this stuff. And they said, please, you know, he can't run around. He can't do anything for six to eight weeks. And I'm like, this is a ferret, you know? So um, I had to keep him away from his sister because she just wants to see what's going on. And she's inquisitive and she wants to lick the wound. And he has an external pin. So they have this tiny little pin hanging out of his shoulder. Um, he's all shaved. He's got a cone on his head. It's like a miniature cone. Um, it was... It was the most horrifying thing. It, looking at him just freaked me out. Um, but, you know, and then he had to take medicine. He had to take medicine, let's see, I want to say three times a day. Um, he had to take a pain medicine and he had to take an antibiotic. Um, and he took an antibiotic for about the first week and then he just took the pain medicine. And then um, I think they ended up giving him, I had to take him back to the vet every I don't know, like every week or so. I think I took him back like two days after the surgery. And then after that, it was like every week and then every two weeks. Um, and he actually didn't have to stay in with the pin. The pin actually came out three weeks early, which was awesome. Um, it actually started to shift. Well, it actually shifted once and they had to go back in and fix it, which was crazy. So, and then eventually it shifted again. And um, they just said, you know, he, it's, he's okay enough that they we can take it out. So at about s six weeks or so, um, he came out of the pen and, um, and then we had to take it easy. But I would say that after about week seven or eight of this whole fiasco, um, he was back to kind of playing and running around. And really ever since then, um, it's been good to go. And my ferret just got on that bed behind me. Did you, are you all seeing this? This is the mischief that they get in. I'm not sure how she did this, but she is very good. I know who it is too. Yeah, it's Ruby. That's what she does. She's always into something and always on top of something. Um, I'm gonna go get her though because my sewing stuff is over there. Please hold. Hi, turkey. Hi, what you doing? What you, do what you doing? We're gonna show you a video where you climbed up on the desk. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, I know, I love you too. Say hi to everyone. You naughty. You're so naughty. Can we get can I have one kiss? Can I just have one kiss? Can we kiss? No, no. Oh, you want to sew? You can't sew. You cannot sew here. So, anyway, that's that. And here we are, about a year and a half later. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I do notice that he will. Um, once he plays a while, he'll limp, and and it's pretty. Um, it's noticeable. But sometimes more so than others. And I noticed recently it's been really, really noticeable. So I'm going to send, show you some pictures and then some kind of like video of him running when it's kind of limpy. Or that backwards jumpy round drunk thing he does where he can't seem to get balanced. Um, so everyone else hops and they kind of land on their feet. And they kind of know where they're going and they can get their bearings straight. And Weasel just hops and but bounces into things like he's drunk, um, basically. So anyway, that's my excitement for the for the day so here is weasel with the cone trying to eat sleep drink just um do anything really and his sister really missed him and she really wanted to play and he just couldn't this is currently where his foot goes out periodically when he plays um it's just sad and i wish that i could make it better so he will be going to the vet shortly i'm going to take him back to the same vet that did the surgery even though it's about two hours from my house. Uh, this is Weasel in his, what I call the drunken moves, where he ricochets and can't seem to catch his balance. Um, and his foot also goes out when he does this. So, I mean, they all hop around, but this is him running completely normal with no incidents, no feet problems, just playing. He climbs gates, which he shouldn't do when I stop him, but I just happen to catch him this time um, climbing. And that doesn't seem to be a problem. He does that without any issue <laughs> at all. Um, I try to always get him before he gets over the other side so he doesn't hurt himself further. But as you see, his foot is fine in this video, which was done recently.
This is another example of Weasel <laughs> bouncing and hopping. And I know that all ferrets hop, but if you watch him closely, you see that he hops and rolls and hops and rolls. And I don't really notice that my other ferrets do that. Um, or if they do, they tend to land a little bit differently. So he definitely acts different um, when he does this than the other ferrets do. Um, so it's, it's, I mean, it's cute, but it also makes me concerned. Now here he's running and playing kind of normal. He is not having any issues and he's just being a normal ferret and jumping and running. And then when he gets down here to the end, you'll notice he does this thing where he backs up and rolls, where he just almost like loses his balance a little bit. Now these are just some cute videos of Weasel being my cute little funny weasel who loves to steal things. He has zero problems with his feet here. Um, he just makes me laugh and it's a cute video. This is Weasel at Ferret Playtime a couple months ago, just playing and having fun and having zero issues at all. This is my cute little boo, yawning, I believe, with his cone on his head. And then this is the card we made to our amazing vet who got my little buddy back to normal. Um, she was absolutely amazing and we loved her and she was great. And I would absolutely drive a million miles to take him back to her because I totally trust that she will take care of him.